Welcome to Intelligent Human Leadership, leading yourself and your team. Do you ever find yourself grappling with a lack of confidence in your team? Or battling the relentless waves of concern and fear? Are the pressures to meet client expectations and the burden of missed opportunities weighing you down? On this podcast, you'll discover the strategies and insights that will reignite your team's morale and help you find the harmony and knowledge you seek to propel your business forward. Here, we explore innovative ways to reignite your creative spirit and achieve greatness, empowering you to lead with intelligence, compassion, and resilience. If you're ready to dive deep into your core of leadership challenges and be guided toward success, here's your host, founder of Steward Your Business, David Carr. Welcome back to the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast. I am grateful you're coming back here uh, off our last episode about building consensus in ever-changing times. Uh, Here I am at the end of July 2024, and we're in ever-changing times, ever-changing times. Um, And so it caused me to think about a challenge that we all face. Uh... I like the saying that we are leaky vessels, either individually and collectively as an organization, um, we have leaks. Uh, And so I'm going to kick off this podcast with a a little story um, and and really get at this challenge or problem that we're facing uh, in ourselves and the organizations that we find yourself working in, collaborating with, is that we're all leaky in some place. Um, and this is our character, potentially. It's our, our effectiveness. Um, we're going to get into some of the specific areas today on the podcast. So I'm going to start off with, like I said, a story where I actually just went camping with my son the last weekend. Um, we live here in the San Bernardino Mountains, uh, and we haven't done backpack camping in about a year. Um, It's a great opportunity to get out into nature, to push yourself physically, uh, make sure you've planned appropriately for the camping trip we went with another family. Um, And, you know, one of the things that's vital on a camping trip like this in particular is that you have enough water, right? So um, looking at that, um, making sure you're prepared. So one of the things... uh, that we carry with us is a, a way of filtering the water, right? And if you have a leak <laughs> in your water, that's a big problem because that's vital, again, to you making it all the distance, the miles you need to travel, the um, elevations that you're going in, staying hydrated. And so I thought that this would be a great analogy, if you will, for areas in our life where we may not be paying as close to attention about where are the leaks? Where are the the areas that we're you know, deflating in? We're not fully present. We're not fully aware of how we're leading ourselves and how we're leading our teams. That's what we're all about here on the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast is empowering you to be that healthiest leader so that you are leading yourself well and your teams. But it starts with now analyzing ourselves. Um, and these can be different areas. Um, you've heard me talk about the core four or this understanding of our, our these domains of our not only our business, but our physical body, our spiritual walk, what I call our being, uh, our relationships also called balance. And where are we leaking in one or more of those domains and what do we need to do about it? So I'm going to get to a solution, uh, one here on the podcast um, today. But before I get there, I just want to go through this idea and understanding of the fact that we are leaky. Uh, and, and so I know it may sound a little funny, but when you hear that leakiness, thinking about where that is, um, I like mountain biking, right? Uh, and you always have to check your tires. Uh, are they the right firmness, right? You want to have it not too soft, not too hard. You want to have it just the right. But if it's leaking, you're not going to have the same effectiveness you would riding in the trail. You wouldn't have the most greatest confidence in making the turns and and, and making the decisions because there's uh, a lack of 
the desired outcome, if you will, uh, for how you want the situation to be. And so we may consciously or subconsciously have leakiness in our lives. I talked with a, a friend and, and colleague today about that, where he called me and he's like, why am I not getting to this thing? Why am I not taking care of this issue? Uh, we've talked about that in previous episodes about balancing the urgent and the important. Um, and there's probably a reason because maybe your la- your leakiness is your physical energy. We talked a little bit about that also in uh, mastering shifts, energy shifts um, in a, a recent podcast episode. You can go back and listen to. Um, but if we don't recognize that there's a leak, there's a drift, if you will, that we are getting away from certain areas of our life, we can get in trouble. And um, and the podcast here, I'm going to walk you through one tool that I use with clients and helping them understand that. Um, but again, this is a challenge for me because I looked at some things just even recently. And these may not be huge things. Um, initially, they're small, right? A, a, a leak that we had one time um, where I was we're living in Orange County, we had a, a very, very pinhole leak in our pipe. And it actually didn't directly affect us because we had a, a condo that we were living at. It was a shared wall. Well, this pinhole leak was actually pointing to my neighbor and it was saturating their wall and their floor. And eventually it would have affected us, but it, it takes a long time. And so sometimes I don't even remember how long this leak was going for. So then we re- the reality of, oh, wow, this is a problem. I mean, have you? How many of you have had <laughs> a, a leaky sprinkler or something with water, and you get a water bill, and you're like, "Holy moly! I didn't even realize that it cost me this much." Right? You didn't even see it. You didn't detect it until you actually saw it on some other somebody others somebody else's measurement. Right? Somebody else was measuring it, and they told you, "Oh my goodness! I didn't realize the cost." That's what a good coaching consultant is going to do. Is they're going to help you understand what's the cost of continually allowing this leak in my organization and, and and those you know you know here on the intelligent leadership podcast we're all about individuals people you know yes we can have ai yes we can have a lot of technology but what it comes down to is we do need people ultimately in our businesses uh to make them run effectively they also contribute to how <laughs> they don't run effectively either so you may have somebody that's quote unquote leaking in your system and you need to address that. And how do we address that? And so I'm going to walk you through that today on this episode of the podcast. Um, but just recognize this concept and look at your life and how we're going to how we're going to do that. I'm going to walk you through an assessment, uh, an audit, if you will, as to a way to address that. Um, now, I'm certified in many different ways, and so this is a way. And as you've heard me on the podcast before, I'm not. Um, I'm really not a stickler on the the tool itself, but I want to get you the result. So as you listen to this podcast and as you apply these things to your life, that's ultimately what I want to see you have success on. If the tool doesn't serve you, then move to the one that w- works better for you. So as you listen to this, this is some of the things I explore with you in Steward Your Business, where I work with business owners and their teams and individuals, and we apply. And I pull from my vast knowledge of over 20 plus years and investing tens of thousands of dollars in myself for you to figure out what's the best tool and resource for you. So this is where we can come in to this tool that I'm going to introduce you today called the Giant Leadership Audit, or GLA for short. Um, One way we do this is we look at what I call a flywheel. If you're not familiar with a flywheel, think about a bike, you know, something that is moving, right? The gears, right? It's moving the chain. And if one of those is off or more, right, you're going to have trouble. Um, and if you think about like a bike gear, right, if one of those is broken, um, it, it, it's going to have difficulty shifting. And so what we want to do is help you be able to be shift well between the different challenges and take advantage of the opportunities you have before you. And so as we talked about identifying this concept of leaks, uh, we have leaks of, like I said, energy, time, focus, resources, um, trust. That's huge in organizational integrity. 
Um, sometimes it's hard to put your finger on exactly one of those things or more, and that's why you hire coach. That's why you hire a consultant that can help identify that, can work with you to expedite that process so you're not spending months, potentially even years, in a chronic situation where you're continually leaking your your and and ultimately that means money, that means profits, that means turnover of individuals. And so we want to stop the leaks. Um and we want to give you certainty, power, clarity, and able to make confident decisions for your company, for your individuals. And so we're going to jump into that today. Um, and there's much more we can do. And this one, I go one-on-one with you. Uh, and so as you hear this podcast, I, I'll definitely go on a deeper dive with you. Uh, when I do a um, leadership audit, if you will, um, this is something that we can do in a discovery call initially, and we can go in a deeper dive. And I customize programs and, and, and processes for you to serve your needs of where you're at specifically. So there is not always a one size fits all, but here today I'm going to give you a framework that you can follow to start to un- understand and identify the leaks in yourself and in your organization. Um, and so way, one way we look at this is communication. Now, Everybody knows about communication. Communication is is key. But how do we um, quite appropriately identify the issues and wrap our arms around it, right? So, again, we may be leaking because we have drama, maybe unnecessary conflict. Um, There's inefficiencies. There's people dropping the ball. And obviously, when we have poor communication, on leadership, our organizational effectiveness is going to decline. We're going to have difficulty meeting our revenue targets, right? Our, our profit goals, because we're having challenges in communicating our our, our goals, right? We're communicating and, and collaborating with each other. There may be mistrust. There may be issues of um, frustration. And in one of the things I've talked about in previous episodes here is we talk about the five voices, kind of appreciation and understanding that. Uh, the five voices is a great overlay to this um, leadership audit. But when we can improve our performance, and let's just talk about this. I, I worked with a, f- a firm that had civil and, and structural engineering. Both engineering department heads, both very competent, but they were siloed and they didn't collaborate with each other. And so here's an example of where you could Go further together than you can individually. Uh, Doesn't mean every project is going to have both civil and structural engineering, but there's often chance that they can support one another either on a current project or possibly a future project based on the client. But if you're not intentionally communicating with each other and you're just like, well, I'm going to do my thing and then you do your thing, that defeats the purpose of the organization of having both of these departments. You might as well be their own individual companies. Uh, how, but to, even to that point, um, you're looking within and without, with outside of yourself too. You know, are you developing the relationships with key team partners or potentially uh, regulators? I was talking to a client yesterday. They worked with the city, and the city was giving them misdirection based on their own municipal code. And so we said, well, we got to get better at this understanding. Um, the number one, the code, and being able to respond back to this this particular city as to their direction. Um, so, how are we communicating internally and externally? This is part of the audit that we look at, um, and there's a deeper dive that we can go here. But I, in the in the in the spirit of time that we have here on the podcast, because I can't solve it all here in the podcast, you've heard me talk about this before, but you can start to open your eyes to what is possible. And that's my my point here in the, in the podcast, is I want you to be aware, looking out for these. And if you're completely unaware, then yeah, things are just going to be coming happening to you. I want you to be that intelligent human leader, being prepared, be on the lookout, and then say, hey, you know what? There's a problem here. I don't know how to solve the problem necessarily, but I know somebody who does. David Carr, Steward Your Business, is one of those people that I could go and ask and get some perspective on. Um, But number one, you have to even be able to identify, is this an issue? Is this where we're leaking, right? Communication. Number two is relationships or your balance, right? Um, This these are all related. So remember, when I say a flywheel, think about all these are components. You, One is touching the other. So this could be um, 
gossip. It could be mistrust. Um, it could be, um, you know, people, uh, it'd be kind of a power trip, if you will. Right. Uh, or it could be toxic sometimes where you have certain people. Uh, now some of them are very obvious and then some of them are harder to identify. Um, I would say it's easier to identify, for example, where people are super aggressive. Uh, that's usually easier. Passive aggressive though is more challenging to identify at times. And so how are people feeling? Now you can't discern somebody's uh, intent, but you can discern how it makes you feel. What is your your feeling coming out of this? How's the relationship? How are you how are you feeling in interaction with your team internally and externally? Um, I've been in situations where there have been very both a spectrum of passive aggressive to aggressive. Um, again, aggressive is harder to hide because it's just not as socially acceptable. Uh, honestly, in today's age, although some people are doing that, um, but passive aggressive, I believe, is more common because it's, it, can be pa- it can be passed off as uh, you know being somewhat helpful, but not really. Or you might have heard the term gaslighting. Um, there is ways where we need to address these issues in a healthy way, uh, and so when we can go through this leadership audit we can start to look about how we can turn this around how can we build trust how can we create a positive work environment we start to eliminate those those um, behaviors or in some cases those people need to be removed from the organization and you can do that in certain ways which we go through in creating the culture and the, and the environment that you desire as the business owner or leader or your team and again it starts with you identifying this are you a person that gossips are you a person that creates mistrust are you a person that seeks to intimidate others you have to look at this and there's ways great tools here in the audit where we can actually get candid feedback from your team um, it may be very eye-opening for you to realize oh wow i didn't i didn't realize i was showing up this way but somebody else feels that you are and so it's a great mirror back so we can look through this through the audit process through this giant leadership audit you know where we sit in relationship um, we can look at alignment. So number three is we look at alignment. Look at where are we wasting time? Where is there duplicate efforts, right? Uh, division with teams. I mentioned that earlier in communication. These are all, they cross over with each other. But um, if we're not clear on the alignment, where we're going, what's our goals, what's our objectives? Um, I work with clients where we do strategic planning each year. And then we have to come back. Because the reality is you're going to drift. You're going to leak. There's going to be a focus on other things. And then you're like, I didn't even believe it. We didn't get where we wanted to be. Um, And so we can go through and see, are we in alignment? Are we achieving the goals of the organization? Are the individual goals and the performance reviews all aligning up, right? Or are we off here? And this can be huge, especially um, uh, for a smaller organization or you have kind of maybe high level folks that are one person thinking we should go this way. Another person's going this way. I worked with this in a previous organization where we had some very fantastic leaders, but they were very different in their goals and objectives. Well, one was more uh, focused in the connectedness of the team or the other one was focused more on processes and procedures. Neither one was better than the other, but the reality was it was kind of like you're pulling apart rather than trying to come together and be complementary to those. And so you have to be a, paying attention and aware are we in alignment fourth is execution um, what does that look like as far as where where are leaks as far as unmet goals missed deadlines blown budgets you know damage credibility uh, this is a place where we need to look at how can we can be more effective in our execution how are we getting things done going into production making sure that we're credibly serving our team and our clients um, Again, where are we off here? I worked with another client um, where they were they had some great systems, use Asana, they had all these little processes, great, but they had difficulty meeting all these deadlines. And so their execution was consistently off because they had a tendency to keep taking on more and more and more, say yes, yes, yes. And so with the audit, we can look at that saying, you know what? Yes, you're putting taking in more and you're you're putting pressure on the system to where it literally 
If you guys have ever tried to put too, you know, fill the a, a drink too much, right? And you fill it up and then you try to put the lid on and it spills out. And so that's a process of, of evaluating execution. Or it could be the other side where, you know what, we um we we're trying we're trying to get hit this goal and objective. We just can't keep getting there because there again, there is leaks on the other end. So there could be leaks where we're overfilling, leaking out, or it could be which, you know, means we have to build a bigger container, which is I'm gonna come to the to the last one, number five. But execution is how can we develop um, better using the tools and strategies as I bring as a coach and consultant to you to help make sure we m- improve your organizational targets. Can we, can we meet them? And so, and then finally, number five, so I've talked about communication. I've talked about relationships. I've talked about alignment, execution, and we want to talk about capacity. And again, think about these all in a wheel, if you will. So capacity is like, are we burning out? Are people working lots of overtime hours. Are we missing opportunities or is there stagnant stagnation? Um, Are we feeling like we're not growing here? Uh, Are we feeling like, man, we just kind of hit a ceiling? Um, And so this is huge, too, because every organization wants to grow in some capacity. Maybe it's not leaps and bounds, but you want to grow in your individuals. You want to grow in your ability to perform, reach more clients, perhaps. And the way we can do this, and we can do it in a sustainable manner um, that contributes to productivity. One of the things I've seen that has especially for you in a, in a small business owner in somewhere between the one to 5 million, let's just say annual revenue is you're in this, this challenging space of capacity, hiring at just the right time, getting the people in just the right place. That's where I help you as a leader, a business owner, looking at hiring and getting people in the right place. Do you have the right resources? Because you, if you go too fast, you have too much of a you know payroll costs and uh, cash going out. And then you're like, well, that doesn't help. And, and so I'm not getting paid on time, right? So there's an issues there. Or, and or, um, and again, you know, or you're growing, you're like, hey, that's great, but I don't have the people. And it collapses from the inside out, you know, because you have so much out there, it comes in and you don't have enough, for example, project managers with probably six to 10 years of experience. That's one thing we see right now, particularly in the AEC industry, architecture, engineering, consulting, environmental consulting. Construction. Uh, there aren't a lot of project managers seasoned with, let's just say, eight, ten years plus of experience right now, and so you're having to, you're having a challenge with capacity uh, to make sure that we don't burn out the existing folks, and we can maximize our our utilization with the folks that we do have. What does that look like? Part time, full time uh, hires, and things of that nature. So as as I cover all these things, and it's a lot, I'll give you that. Um, Again, on this podcast, I want to make sure you're aware. Are you aware of where you're leaking your organization? Because I can guarantee you, you're leaking in one or more areas. We all are. And it starts with your own personal assessment. Uh, And I have individual tools that I can use and share with you on that. Um, And we can talk and have a conversation about what does that look like. Um, But when you start to identify these leaky areas, and where is where you're drifting? As we you know, patch the hole, as we fix that, there'll be others. Uh, it's not it's not a an end all fix because the reality is, as you grow and you expand, you're going to have new challenges. Uh, there are going to be new uh, opportunities, if you will, to address the other leaks, the other areas where we're drifting. Uh, and that's the beauty and and the nature of business and growth um, is that we are all on this journey. Uh, I'm not here to throw shade, guilt, or shame on any one of these areas that you might be de- de- dealing with. Maybe more than more than one of its communication, possibly your relationships in the team, your alignment, the execution, or the capacity. Um, we want to deal with the facts of what are, so that we can get healthy and get you moving in the right direction. And so, as you listen to this um, podcast today, in this episode, if you're feeling so moved and you're realizing, you know what? I can maybe I'm starting to recognize and I can start to see some of these things in your own organization, but you're like, you know what, David, could you come alongside? And it, maybe it's just, maybe you're just the department head. Maybe you are one of many leaders in the organization and you're like, could you come alongside and, and talk with me or the board or my team? Um, Cause it would really benefic- be beneficial for us. Let's have a conversation. Let's find a way to, to um, work with you. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm your advocate here. In Steward Your Business, that's why I created this, to get you healthy and help you and your organization. And 
you know, here we are in the middle of 2024, and it's only going to get more challenging, in my opinion, in the, in the, as we go forward in the ever-changing political environment. Our world is changing. Um, we want to be healthy. We want to be doing the best that we can for ourselves and for our teams. And so I appreciate you guys coming on here and listening to the podcast. Please share this and like it. Um, obviously, if you're not already subscribed, please do. Uh, your five-star review means a lot to me. It helps me get the word out and share this with others. Uh, that's what I want to do every week is bring you value, help you become victorious in leading yourself and your teams. If you're ready for a giant, giant leadership audit, reach out to me. I'm happy to set that up for, with you. Um, but whether it's individually or an organization, we can look at that and pave the way to you addressing the leaks that you have currently and in anticipation for the ones that may come or the cracks that may come or the ways we may drift in the future. That's what we'll be talking in future podcast episodes to continue to equip you and help you prepare and plan for those challenges that you will inevitably face, but you'll do it more confidently power and certainty, knowing that you have the tools and the resources to call on to make sure that you can forge forward. I appreciate you guys listening here uh, on behalf of myself, Steward Your Business, David Carr, the Intelligent Human Leadership Podcast. Please come back, listen again on our next episode. Until then, take care, be well, and we'll talk to you all soon. Take care.